Hello guys, Ozman here. This is Powerback versus Wanted 1.0. Final score 80 to 81. This was a messy, messy, messy affair. Um, strange one for me. I went to Wanted 1.0 a couple days before this to help them with the potluck spin. And we ended up matching Golden Goblins. I come back, we spin and wanted matches power back. Talk about conflict of interest all weekend. Anyway, this was a good war. It was messy. There was absolutely tons of dips in this. Uh, nines didn't do so well on either side. Um, three star count was 20 to 22 and the damage was in Wanted's favour as well. Uh, power back up. I think, I think both sides just really struggled down all night. I'm going to run a few. I'll chat through them. There's only a few that I can actually show that weren't dips. We got dip. Monster number eight on number 12 is a non-dip. And this is a bowler attack. So Wanted 1.0 friendly clan with Powerback, they, they basically share some members, so it was interesting when they matched up. Um, both sides had to make a whole bunch of new bases because they all know each other's bases. Um, like I said, it was a bit shit for me because I'd just come from a loss in Wanted where they lost like a 32 win streak to Golden Goblins over to Powerback where we were on like a 14 win streak. And we matched these guys, and it was it was level. I'd say it was fairly evenly matched. I know the Town Hall 11s, I think, were five a side. Um, just the nines on both sides really struggled. I had a fail in this, I think I said in one of the other videos that I've done recently. I had a 99% on a dip on a 9.5. Gutted by a troll Tesla. Anyway, Monster here has level 2 bowlers, nearly max heroes. He's managed to smash his way through this base. Queen, with the ability, should live, take out that archer tower. And there's just not enough left. Bowler spam is... I don't know. It's getting old quite quickly. I hope not so much that they nerf it, but we just sort of find a way build bases that are effective in defending them. This has 32 more seconds. His queen did die in the end. These bowlers do smash through the rest of it and he's got a couple minions left to clear it up. But I don't know, bowler spam, it's good, it's bad, it's three starring, what do you do at wins wars? Uh, next one... We show that was dip. That was me dip. A successful dip on that one. 15 was a non dip. Baron Hoffy. It's got 12 giants. Four healers. Quite a few people now using the baby dragon for the funnel. I love it. I mean, it's so much better than using wizards and giants and things and minions. On the right base you can just take out an absolute ton of shit on the outside. And you get the odd defense with them. They're they're just really good. Baby dragons highly recommended. So all his giants in with healers behind, he's got Wizzy's gonna follow those in post funnel creation. Here's the CC of Death. The Baby Dragon Valkyrie Whiz. And he had bowl, bowlers in his CC, so this is one of them sort of giant healer bowler hog strats that's dominating Town Hall 9 at the moment. He's got a load of giants, more giants in this than I see normally. Normally there's only like six. I think 11 must just rip through these walls. 
So at 40%, he's already dropping hogs in from all over the place. His healers are safe from AD fire pretty much, I would say, till the end of the raid, just from the way they're pathing. His bullers have wandered a little bit, but the queen behind his giants is just going to help take out stuff in front of them. Bullers have gone really wide here, to be fair. Enemy king taking out most of his hogs, so he's, he's not got a lot left. He's got a full health king with ability. He's got bowlers behind that doing work. Uh, queen's about to take out the enemy king. The giants, not sure how many he's got left, but I would assume he's got at least five or six giants left in that pack with the queen. And as long as something tanks this Tesla farm. He's going to have damage coming at it from both sides. So heal down. Uh, Bowler should live through that. And because he's got the queen shooting from one side, Bowler's from the other, and the giants and king tanking, there's just no chance. Last thing to go down is two Teslas. Good raid, though. What we say next? Number 17, Simon. Probably very similar army comp here. He's got 12 giants. Maybe I just missed something watching over the last little while, but I always thought there was about six giants in these giant bowler walk hog things. Pause for beer. Sitting here today, and this is a couple days after this war, and last night the English have voted, well, the UK has voted. We seem to have left the EU, or we plan to do so in the next two years. This very strange day in London today. Anyway, never talk politics. So bowlers in here behind the giants, poison down just to help take care of that CC. Hero's in behind everything and he's gonna start trickling hogs in on any defenses that are sort of left on their own. Nearly half the base done at this point. And once that double bomb goes, I think there might be one more set. His hogs are gonna trip up top. But with no defences left, in 51 seconds it's just a matter of cleanup. Troll Tesla, not going to be an issue for like 10 hogs. I ran out of time on mine. I actually had probably about 6 Valkyries, 2 full health heroes and some bowlers and shit left. But the Tesla was on the other side of the base and I didn't even see it until... It was far too late. I had already dropped everything. Saves the odd raid, troll Tesla. Next up, number 20. Baron Hoffy again. I won't show it to you by him. I'll skip. We'll fit more in. Sorry, mate. Eloon on Dukeldorf. Uh, 15 hogs, 4 healers, loads of giants. This is going to be a bowler walk again. We've got a few minions down just to sort out some trash and funnel things. So yeah, wanted 1.0. I'm not sure who they match next after this war. I barely heard of these guys until I went and joined them the other day and then I've spent Sort of a whole weekend in a bit with them. And this was an all-class war. I suppose it was a bounce-back war for them. They just lost a 32 streak. And they get it back versus their sort of friendly rivals in power back. Bittersweet, I suppose. Golden Goblins has a couple days off. Haven't had a spin yet 
there since the Immortal Thieves War. And Invictus Prime has just beaten a clan called the Holding Cell. Which was, uh, they were decent. I won't even recap it though, the score was like 20, 20 points different, 20 star different. I think the Holding Cell had something in their um, clan description about how it hurt, but it was interesting and they learned something. And I wasn't in that war. I've had a few days off aside from the Powerback War. Beast Mode recaps up. If anyone missed that, I watched um, a stream last night and the night before I saw the beginning of the Crystal Warrior German Titans War streamed by Ed, who's a Crystal Warrior and then the finale was streamed by, I think it was Leonidas. Um, and there was a lady on his stream. It was, that was an exciting finish. If anyone didn't catch it, uh, hopefully someone does a recap. Crystal Warrior should have had it, really. It was down to the last 10 minutes. And I mean, the whole war looked just sick. It was tight the whole way through. I'll show a couple more here. Caesar the Great. Caesar the Great and X Crystal Warrior. But yeah, it was awesome to watch. The um, Titans had, I think, two failed dips in the last 25 minutes. And Warrior, I think, had the same. I think two failed dips. Or a failed dip and possibly just a missed two-star. Um, really good. Really exciting. As an ex-Crystal Warrior, I was cheering for a C-Dub, but it's just cool to watch good wars nowadays. It seems like everyone is on the up, and all these clans that are matching all the time are just getting more and more competitive. Bowlers haven't helped. Um, I think Ed was saying on his stream that he's, as exciting as it is that 10s can 3-star 10s, it's just... It's not too easy, but it's there's less planning. And you almost expect tens now to get beat in big wars. Unless you're in one like this where the nines don't clear the nines and the tens have to dip like seven or eight. <laughs> Which shit happens. So he's pulled the um hound here. Hound's dead. Queen's gonna sort that out. King's come in from three o'clock. He's going to throw his healers, second pack of healers, just on a bunch of Valkyries. They've got a jump spell, they'll sort out the enemy king. Uh, they're going to head straight into a Tesla farm, and if these healers keep up with Valks, which is usually the only issue, this queen stands no chance. They're going to break through that wall, take her out. We're at 50%, but there really isn't a lot left on this base. Couple of loons down, there's no air cover now on the six o'clock part of the base. And once the queen gets through the wall up top, she's only gonna have to deal with three sort of point defenses. He's still got five hogs. She's gonna put it now. Queen won't even have to bother with that. No spells left, couple of archers left for a cleanup. Hogs will turn on these skellies if they get through these defences. Nice attack, Caesar. Sick. So yeah, two clans in this one rushed to try and build 30 new bases overnight. And obviously not test any of them. MHO Mini, I'll show this will be the last one. One of the nice things about the fair challenge is you do get a chance to sort of smash your own bases and test out where you need to make improvements and stuff. And then you run into a clan that you know or that already has all your bases and you're in shit street. MHO Mini, a massive fan of just stone gohos. I'm not sure what's in a CC. 
He doesn't have any healers, so if it's bowlers, I'll be surprised. He's going to use them slightly differently than the norm. There it is. The stone Goho. This is such a strong attack. I'm surprised it doesn't get used more. Um, once CC is done, and if you can get the funnel onto the enemy queen on most Town Hall 9s, three golems just tank everything placed well. And if the bomb spots are predictable and pathable, like on this base, I think he's had one single there, second single. So yeah, no doubles. And it's just, you get no chance. A heal for each bomb section that the hogs had to deal with. And he's nearly on cleanup. Couple more defenses to go down, and it's just drop a few whizzies around the outside. And that's wrecked. Wanted 1.0. I don't see this match happening again anytime soon, to be fair. I don't think these guys really wanted to match each other. I think friendly clans love to set up friendly scrims, but it would have been. Yeah, less um, dramatic for both sides to have not just come off. Well, wanted off one loss and power back just handed one. Great guys from both sides. It was a wicked war. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.